CataractCoach.com, Sonicholysis in Traumatic Cataract. So this case is easily done without using a pupil ring or iris hooks. So watch how I do the drapes. The beginning of the case here, the drape's been incised centrally. That's just the big drape placed over the eye. Now look with the spectrum going in, how it folds over the drape so that the lid margin is fully sequestered. Notice the absence of oil or secretions on the tear film. The three Purkinje images are nicely seen there, the three dots there of the first Purkinje image. So here's the trick for the whole surgery. Ready? You're watching it. Two pairs and TCs. That's going to give you the best access. So we make two pairs about 180 apart. This is injecting lidocaine inside the eye. So it's 1% preservative free lidocaine cut 50-50 with BSS. And we also notice how we just use that to break the sneaky, injecting so the AC doesn't collapse. And we can use that can to break the sneaky. And that's it. That's as easy as it comes. So now we can inject the viscoelastic using Osher's technique here of viscomedriasis, going one direction and pushing out that iris, and now go the opposite direction. And look how we expand the pupil. Now we both know the pupil's not going to stay this expanded. So we'll try to get this rexus done without losing too much viscoelastic, because of course this pupil will have a tendency to come down towards the end of the case. That's expected. You can see the patient has that posterior subcapsular cataract there on the back, plus some nuclear and cortical changes. And look at the rexus making it nice and generous. Now, this is not a uveitic eye, so I don't think the patient's going to have future uh, episodes of inflammation or synechiae. In a uveitic eye, you're definitely going to have future uh, inflammatory issues. And so you may want to have a larger rexus so that the IOL optic is the one that's coming in most proximity to the um, iris. If the iris touches the capsules, you know, it wants to form the sneak case. So here the nucleus popped up. Let's just chop it in half, and this can be emulsified and sub-chopped even more, and the rest of the case can be pretty easy here. So showing the video at about two times normal speed. This patient is on the younger side. I think it's mid-50s in terms of cataract patients, and then you can see there's not a tremendous amount of nuclear density, but certainly this was a 20 out of 200 cataract, so very visually significant. Nucleus is, is removed very easily, and the pupil surprisingly stays pretty well dilated. Now, normal to see a little bit of bleeding there on top of the iris from breaking the sneaky. Be very careful in doing this. When you break the sneaky at the beginning of the case, you want to avoid putting too much traction on the iris root because you can easily disinsert the iris there and cause other issues. So here, cleaning up our caps or bag. And then since it's a traumatic case, be careful to watch out for zonular weakness or absence in certain quadrants. And so what you can do is look at the rexus edge as you do the case to make sure it's not moving, right? Think about it, the rexus edge should stay pretty still the whole case. And now filling the caps or bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. That looks like a nice fill. And then here comes the lens. So the key for the whole case in breaking sneculysis or breaking sneakia with sneculysis is two paracentesis incisions. Having those two incisions on opposite sides of the cornea really gives you a lot better access, 360 degree access to get around and get an access all those sneakia. If you're doing it with just the one paracentesis, it's a lot harder to do that. So in a case like this, I'd like to make two paras gives you a lot more access. And you can see in this case, they're kind of angled on the paras to give me good access with my hands. They're not exactly 180 apart, but they're pretty good. And so here at the end of the case, we'll remove the viscoelastic. Remember, we have a second paracentesis to seal up. So we have to check not only the um, main incision and the one para, the normal one on my left-hand side, but we'll also check the other pair. So hydrating that main incision, sweeping out any retained viscoelastic, getting that eye well nicely centered, and then we can use the uh, BSS here to again sweep out the angle, make sure there's no retained viscoelastic, and then sealing up the last para. So nice case. Try the technique next time. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.